how do you deal with a leak under your crawl space with mold, fungus, and rats? How long have you guys been dealing with the rat problem? We've noticed them for three years. Three years? We only started, started noticing it maybe like during the pandemic. Okay. Uh, okay, so here's the, here's the leak. Look at all this, all this fungus here, you guys. Look, it's starting to grow. Flushing now. Unfortunately, that's a problem. This is a hundred year old house. So they use way better wood than uh, the new construction nowadays. See how strong that is? Regular wood, this would just be dry rot. This is completely just saturated. I mean, the moisture content's 100% in here. Gotta get that toilet out and see why. If it's just a bad wax seal or if it's a rusted out closet ring. And I'm gonna show you what we do to treat all of this fungus and mold here. You're dealing with mold and you cross contaminate into the breathing space of people's homes or into their duct system. People are very, 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 especially homeowners that have a very low immune system. They're very, very aware of these details here. So that's why it's important to go to this extreme here. Maybe overboard for this because it is tile. But again, once we pull this out, things will get airborne. Those rat droppings? No way. There's no way. Look at all this. They almost look like rat droppings. Oh, that is disgusting. Based product, so rat urine, sewage, organic waste. Okay, we are ready for smoke. Shoved a thick plastic bag down there. Ooh, this is a tight attic space. There is just no room. There's no room for crawling. Oh, 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 we got a dead rat. We got a dead rat. Freaking T-Rex got him. Good job, but look at his head way out there, you guys. It got him in the body, it was a body shot. Almost got away. Now this right here is a perfect, perfect example why we had to invent the twin traps. Because this right here happens, okay? T-Rex did get him, so we gotta give him Kudos on that, but barely. See, our rat traps would never, ever catch a rat like that. Okay, we're getting smoke here. We're getting smoke, so let's go and meet the crawl space. We're getting smoke in the attic? Yeah, but I want to double check if it. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, so far, I don't see anything. Okay, looks like it's just gonna be a broken pipe in the attic. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay, mijo. Turn the smoke machine on. Get that smoke running. Oh, oh. look at that hole. Oh, look at that. Three year rat problem solved in about 30 minutes after we set up the smoke machine. Literally 30 minutes. 
You shouldn't have to be dealing with a rat issue for more than 12 days if you've hired multiple pest control companies. Well, that's good to know. All right, so we have our liner crew. We're gonna go up on that roof and we're gonna rehabilitate the cast iron pipe. In the meantime, I'm gonna go underneath. I'm gonna show you exactly what it takes to get rid of that fungus and mold. And more importantly, it's called dry down. There you go. The goal with this is we're trying to retain the heat. Got this completely ballooned in. Ah, uh, how am I gonna get out? Oh god, I forgot about that guy. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Okay, you may have to dig down a bit. Oh, fine. Nice. There you go. Okay. Okay, the hose is key. There we go. Oh, dude, that's beautiful. Thank you. God, that is beautiful. So you always want to leave your dehumidifier three to five days, typically standard. But if things are really, really, really wet, then up to seven days. A lot of remediation companies will treat fungus like mold, and you can't do that. It's not going to work. You've got to dry the area out to kill the fungus. Then come back and put a fungicide in, not, not mold, okay? You could do a mold treatment, but everything's got to get dried out. And the mold treatment's not going to cure or prevent the fungus from growing back. Moisture. Moisture is the source of fungus growth. So heat drying is the most powerful, powerful tool and weapon to get rid of fungus. Any type of fungus. That's the tip of the day. Perfect timing, because now the liner crew just showed up. So we're gonna run a camera and inspect this entire line here. And this will also help measure out precisely how long the liner needs to be to rehabilitate this entire stack here. I'm gonna give you an inside tip here, you guys, that most plumbers don't want you to know, especially the plumbers that are selling you epoxy liners. If you're going to hire anybody that's going to do epoxy lining, especially from the front yard all the way out to the middle of the street, meaning you're gonna rehabilitate your underground sewer pipe, which is the best, okay? Way more cost-effective. Not gonna have to tear out your beautiful landscape. You wanna make sure whoever comes out to your property and sells you a liner, the equipment and the epoxy lining needs to be permaliner. Let me show you the difference here. Here's what a lot of guys use here, okay? This is called the maxi liner. It's good. I'm not saying it's the worst thing, better than digging up your landscaping, but a lot of this is not approved to go out to the street, okay? Permaliner's been around the, the longest. They have the thickest, way, way better material. They're always, we've been using permaliner for 20 years, the best. block from ever coming back into this house. All right, so we're gonna send the camera down to make sure that the liner can stop at the right area here. Here's the brand new line. Pretty nice, huh? <laughs> All right, so now we're ready to conduct a second smoke test. You always wanna do a second smoke test just to verify there's not another break. See, if we're losing all the smoke here, then we may not get smoke in other parts of the home that may have a broken sewer pipe. So always do a second smoke. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Okay, I see smoke. Okay, let's go follow this. Man, I thought I was done for the day. That's why I have to do second smoke. What the heck? No way. Unbelievable. What I just found, I don't understand it. 
Why are we getting smoke out of the ground right here? What the heck? It's an old drain pipe. Unreal. Unreal. That's a first. Just deteriorated. Well, rats weren't getting through because this was buried. But we do definitely need to seal this up here. A big footing right here. Again, this is a dry line. Never ever gonna get water out of here. So, no sense of breaking this footing. But I do wanna shove enough metal in there. It's these rubber caps right here. Rats can chew through this. So this metal will prevent that from happening. Again, if there was any sort of water that flows through this drain, I would recommend that this jack, we jackhammer up this footing and get to some better pipe to cap it off. But in this situation, this is gonna be totally, totally fine. It's just an abandoned sewer pipe. This will do for right now. We still want the rats or sewer gases to come through. Brian, no more, no more smoke in the attic either, huh? Nope. Yeah, nothing over there either. All right, so this is now usable space so they can at least use the sink in the tub. They're gonna take some towels, thick towels, lay over this here in a big carpet. Get our camera up in this tight attic here. The bait tugger in there loaded with peanut butter. You notice how I smashed the peanut butter within the loops. It's not hanging out. You don't want your bait hanging out, especially with juvenile rats. See, I can reach way in here now, stabilize this rat trap, right? there look at that you can't do that with any other trap you guys look at that that's impressive see the epoxy liner completely sealed that up now if there are rats in here you're gonna see they're gonna go right to this area to try to get out of here that's why we set up the camera so we can monitor their behavior day two we have got so much to do today I'm curious as to what that crawl space looks like. Make sure that dehumidifier worked and pulled all that excess moisture. We've got coating to do to rehabilitate all of that cast iron pipe. We got a lot going on today. More importantly, it's been super quiet in that attic. Nice and warm. It's a good sign. You can see. We are completely, completely dry. 7%. This thing was saturated. Look at that. We are good. Look at that. We are good. Okay, now we're gonna start scraping. Oh, the guys are descaling. Let me get up there and I'll show you guys what that looks like. What we're doing is cleaning the inner walls of this entire cast iron drain here. All right, so here's the finished product. The downside is we had to shut the water off for four hours to allow this to fully cure. Let's get back under the house. Okay, you can already start to see about 15 seconds later how it's reacting and cleaning this wood. Kills everything. Okay, so we're gonna let that Twins Rapid Mold Removal cure and dry for about an hour. And then we're gonna apply this amazing primer that I'm about to show you guys. It's really good, especially for bathroom ceilings. If you don't have a lot of ventilation, this is a great product to prevent mold and mildew from growing. Let's wait that hour and then we'll come back. Later. All right, about an hour later. This is what we're gonna be applying on that wood. Eureka, you ready? All right, this is looking really good. So while you guys are fungus free, mold free, all the pipes are all coated, no rats. And we're gonna leave that camera for another 30 okay. days. Oh, okay. thank you. So, awesome. I guarantee you, there's no more rats in that house. Guarantee you.
there's no more fungus, no more mold. Guarantee you that wood is dry and all of those pipes are all rehabilitated. So this job not only deserves the rat dance, but also the mold, fungus, and drain rehabilitation dance. The twins do it again. Another successful rat extermination. Job solved. We will see you on the next one.